Welcome back. Some residents of Lagos have continued to react to the declaration of last Saturday's presidential and national assembly elections. Ibo J. Poirier reports that the re respondents commended the process. I thought APC would actually, you know, you know, win Lagos State with a lot, ma a lot of margin, but so far so good. I was surprised seeing Labour Party there. Even the youth, they are not, they are not happy. The youth are not happy. Eh? Fine. Lagos State is one party initially. It's a free and fair election. It's a free and fair election. If it's not free and fair election, we cannot be saying Labour Party. Look at what they did in Ekeja and some other places. It's a free and fair election. APC or PDP doesn't have anything hidden. APC is not doing anything, any hidden agenda. Yeah, it's a free and fair election. I saw it coming because in fact everybody that I know of in Lagos State we all were obedient. We all we, we all voted for OB, so I'm I'm not surprised. It shows that uh, the level at which people are unhappy with the present situation in the country. So it does not matter who holds or which party holds a particular state, that because people are not happy, then you get to see things like this. So for me to say that I'm, I'm surprised, I'm not surprised. And if it, it may even cut across so many states in, the, in Nigeria. So I'm not surprised that it's happening. It shows that we are not happy with what is happening in Nigeria. And it's going to continue like this once we get the desired results. Yes, actually, going by people's mandate, it was crystal clear that the Labour Party was winning. In fact, there are some area that, that the gap was much. So people had to hire talk to come out cut of the process to start the whole process election is not supposed to be do or do or die affairs and anybody that's enter maybe in lagos it might in general it might not enter but anything can change at any point in time it depends on people's choice so that is what i want to say about it Opposition parties have walked out of the venue where results from Nigeria's tightly contested presidential elections are being announced. The main opposition part, People's Democratic Party and the Liberal Party have claimed there is a lack of transparency with the new electronic voter system. The Election Commission has denied the opposition party's complaints with the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, saying the announcement of the result would continue. The PDP representative at the election center, Dino Milaye, described the process as fraudulent and accused the ruling All Progressive Congress of, of including of colluding with INEC while the Labour Party asks for the announcement to be suspended or for the election to be cancelled and rerun. The APC, whose candidate Bola Tinobo has established an early lead from results announced so far, said those dissatisfied with the results should go to court and that the party should first let the process run its course. INEC Chairman Professor Yakubu has, a, has apologized for the inability of the Commission to upload most of the results as promised, saying that a surge in traffic caused glitches. Former Nigerian President Olusegun Obasanjo has urged the Independent National Electoral Commission to save the country from looming danger over what he described as corruption of the electoral process. In a statement, he said tension was building up and asked President Muhammad Buhari to let all elections that do not pass the credibility and transparency test be cancelled. He said INEC's decision to revert to manual transmission of results was deliberate despite investing in an electronic system that would allow immediate transmission of results from polling units. He said it is no secret that INEC officials at the operational level have been allegedly compromised to make what should have worked not work and to revert to the manual transmission of results which is manipulated and result doctored. Obasanjo also appealed to citizens to be patient and express confidence in the system working right, 
adding that this, that he strongly believes that nobody will toy with the future and torture of Nigerian at this juncture. The federal government has urged former President Olusegun Obasanjo not to truncate the 2023 general elections with his allegedly inciting, self-servicing and provocative letter on the polls. In a statement in Abuja on Tuesday, the Minister of Information and Culture, Alhaji Lai Mohammed, said what the former president framed as an appeal for caution and rectification was nothing but a calculated attempt to undermine the electoral process and a willful incitement to violence. The minister said, though masquerading as an unbiased and concerned elder statement, former President Olusegun Obasanjo is a known partisan bent on twatting by sub subterfuge subterv the, 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 the choice of millions of Nigerians voters. Mohammed expressed shock and disbelief that a former president could purportedly throw around unverified claims and amplified wild allegations picked up from the street against the electoral process. The minister accused the former president of, in his time, organizing perhaps the worst election since Nigeria's return to democratic rule in 1999, adding that is the least qualified to advise president who's de who is determined efforts to leave a legacy of free, fair and credible and transparent election is well acknowledged within and outside the country. A European Union observer mission has faulted the lack of transparency and oppression of failures in the Nigerian election. According to its preliminary findings, it is said there was confidence in the, in the independence and professionalism of the electoral body during preparations for the elections, but public trust warned over lack of efficient planning and effective communication in the process including all the election day. Nigerians va cast their votes in the presidential and parliamentary general election on Saturday. The observers noted that some poll centers opened late and polling procedures were not always followed. They said the uploading of the results using an electronic system did not work, raising concern as transmission of presidential election results forms was delayed. The Observer team has urged stakeholders in the election to uphold peace until the process is completed and called for any dispute arising to be addressed through legal channels. Observers from the Commonwealth have released a statement describing Nigeria's elections as largely peaceful. The chairperson of the Commonwealth Observer Group and former South African President Thabo Mbeki said people were largely accorded their constitutional rights to vote. Mr Mbeki said the group congratulates all Nigerians for their determination, patience and resilience displayed throughout the electoral process. He, however, did highlight challenges, namely some polling units being ill-equipped with sufficient lighting and recommended the Electoral Pro Commission set up a post-election review. Becky also said those who had grievances about the elections should express their complaint through available legal channels. Commonwealth observers were in Benue, Edo, Kano, Lagos, Ondo, Rivers, and Sokoto State, as well as the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja.